Steve Jobs is a name synonymous with innovation and design, but most importantly, Apple. But what are Apple products and what sets them apart from all the rest? Welcome to Campus Age. I'm your host, Aaron. If you're a gadget guy or girl, you are going to love this episode. This is what we have coming up. Steve Jobs was described as a creative entrepreneur whose passion for perfection transformed six industries. Personal computers, animated movies, music, phones, tablet computing, and digital publishing. But what are Apple products and how can you choose which one to buy? Tonight we have all your Apple questions answered and one of you will win an Apple product at the end of the show. Jovan visited the Apple store in Village Mall, Bugolobi to find out what sets them apart. Take a look. Uh, nice, nice meeting you again. Pleasure to meet uh, you Just again. a quick one. want to know what is a smartphone? Uh, that's a very good question, Jovan. In uh, layman's uh, language, a smartphone basically is there to help you with the way you work. Mm -hmm. uh, like the word is smart. Mm. It helps you work smart uh, in that uh, if you're the kind that uh, receives emails on the move, you're able to do that, respond to emails. If you're the kind that likes to browse on the move, you're able to do that as well. So basically, the smartphone will just help you uh, in your day-to-day uh, -day working so that you can communicate better with your people, so that you can do your business on the move, so that everything works out perfectly well. Okay, uh, now, when I want to buy a smartphone, what do I consider? Well, um, your choice of a smartphone will depend on a number of reasons. Mm -hmm. Uh, essentially, uh, your choice will depend on what you do on a daily basis. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you're the kind of person who uh, does a lot of browsing on the internet, you'll need a, a phone with a big screen. Big screen. Yes. Uh -huh. in, uh, in our case here, we have a, a phone that is up to 5.5 inches, which is the iPhone 6 Plus. Mm -hmm. So that will help you see your uh, browsing. You'll actually get a much better browsing experience on a big screen vis-a-vis uh, -vis a small screen. And uh, if you're the kind who likes to take a lot of photos, mm -hmm. photos on the move, mm -hmm. uh, you can definitely buy a smartphone because it has a camera. So you can take your photos, uh, keep your memories on there. Also, it depends on uh, uh, how much you'd want to maybe store. In mm -hmm. case you're the kind who records videos, mm -hmm. you'd have to look at the storage capacity. Storage capacity. Yes. Yeah. There's uh, 16 gigabytes, uh, there's uh, 64 gigabytes, and 128 gigabytes. Mm -hmm. So if you're a high-end user, you'd like to record videos on the move, you'd like to do a lot of photos on the move, you'd like to download a lot of music, watch a lot of videos, then you'll have to go for the high-end uh, storage capacity. Okay, now, how about the operating system? Uh, do I also consider it, and if I'm to consider it, what do I consider? Okay, um, that's interesting. For, uh, in line with what we do here at uh, Elite Computers, uh, we sell Apple. Mm -hmm. So Apple comes with what we call an uh, iPhone operating system. Mm -hmm. This is designed by Apple itself. It's built to be secure. Mm -hmm. It's built to be easy. Ease of use is very important. Mm -hmm. It's built to be uh, innovative. It's futuristic. It, uh, it will help you with some of the things you do on a daily basis. Uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, with uh, iOS, you can actually print wirelessly what is iOS from your phone, iPhone? iPhone operating system. Okay, iPhone operating. You can actually print wirelessly from your phone to a Wi-Fi uh, air print enabled printer. You don't need to connect any cables with iOS. Okay. And uh, iOS is bug free. Mm. Uh, till this date, we are not affected by viruses at all. So you don't need to worry about what you're downloading, what you're sharing with your people. You just work without any worry. So operating system is very important when choosing a smartphone as well. Uh, now there are students that are asked to bring a laptop for a certain course and they bring tablets or iPads. Is it, is it really advisable for one to use the iPad instead of the laptop? Well, um, your choice of uh, a tablet or uh, your ordinary computer 
will also depend on what you essentially do. But uh, in the case of a student, uh, assuming you're asked to bring a computer at school, I would recommend you go for the full-fledged laptop computer. The reason why I recommend that is because uh, the iPad will do some of the things that you do on your computer. You'll be able to do your emails, your internet, uh, maybe do some uh, productive work uh, in terms of Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. However, you may not be able to do some technical things that you may have done on your laptop. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, you may need to install a specific type of software. Mm -hmm. For instance, uh, assuming you're an uh, engineering student or you are an architect, you'll need to install programs that are designed for that kind of work that you're going to be doing in school, which you may not be able to install on your I tablet, mm -hmm. yes, but you can install on your laptop. So the main difference, I would say, the tablet, which is the iPad, will complement your laptop, but it will not substitute it. Yeah. See, you, the laptop can do everything the iPad can do, but the, the iPad, iPad cannot do, do everything that the laptop can okay. do. Yes. So it's better for me to bring a laptop instead of an iPad? It's better if you can bring both. <laughs> okay, now, moving on, or putting our eyes on the, lap, on the laptop mm. or the MacBook. Uh, what are those things that one has to consider when buying a laptop? Okay, that is a very interesting question. Uh, for a student, uh, there's a range that they can choose depending on what they are studying. Mm -hmm. If it's an engineering student, we can recommend uh, something called a MacBook Pro. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I'm recommending that, uh, mm -hmm. it's because of the technology that is also packed in it. Mm -hmm. It has uh, extensive ports for connecting. If they want to connect an external drive, mm -hmm. if they want to use their SD card, if you want to connect an HDMI, mm -hmm. uh, maybe device, mm -hmm. uh, for maybe they are showcasing whatever they are doing, uh, they can go for the MacBook Pro. And uh, it has a clear, crisp retina display. It's, uh, it's technology that was actually built on the clarity of the retina itself okay. in the eye. Mm -hmm. It's meant to show you text uh, as if it's uh, printed on a piece of paper. That's how you're meant to see uh -huh. uh, text on, on, on the retina display. It's uh, packed with uh, what we call a flash drive. This is a technology. It's non-volatile, meaning that even if there's a breakage in power, your data is safe. So it's very important as it's well. It's inbuilt. It's inbuilt okay. storage. Uh, so it's very important uh, because in case of uh, any fluctuations or god forbid something happened to your mac mm. your data is secure and safe mm. then also your choice will depend on uh, how much you need to store it comes in uh, three storage capacities mm -hmm. there's 128 gb mm -hmm. then there's 256 gb and 512 gb so depending on your choice of uh, the mac then you can decide uh, the kind of storage that you're looking for then uh, in the example of someone doing maybe engineering work, uh, there are some programs that they install that require rendering, 3D rendering. The technology from the fifth generation Intel Core processors to the flash storage, they will help them render at a speed that your ordinary uh, user on a PC on the other side may not be able to do. So it's very important to choose something like this for an engineering student. Then if it's someone doing some uh, maybe work at school such as... Uh, now let's talk about the coursework when they give you okay. like the typing. Like exactly. So for the case of like coursework typing and all that, we can recommend something basic. Uh, we have what we call a MacBook Air. And your choice of a MacBook Air will also depend on uh, the screen size you want. Mm -hmm. It comes in two screen sizes. Mm -hmm. There's an 11 inch and a 13 inch. Mm -hmm. uh, it also depends on the storage. Yes, the storage, they also come in uh, three different storages. The people you'll find using Apple are people who have uh, uh, lost work maybe because of viruses, uh, their computers have crashed down from before. Uh, these are people who are looking for a durable product. Mm -hmm. See, Apple, uh, from the design of the, hard, of the hardware itself, even the outlook itself, uh, this aluminium enclosure you're seeing is not just uh, fancy, mm -hmm. but it's protective. If this uh, computer fell down, the most that could happen to it would be a dent. So you just pick it up, clean it up, and go back to work. Uh, okay. Yet if it's a plastic computer, it will probably shutter. Yeah, right, right. So the fact that uh, our operating system is not affected by viruses, 
currently we are at least enjoying that but that is sold separately uh, okay mark now for the fun bit of campus uh we see there's a camera here mm -hmm. uh can i take yourself using a laptop is it possible you can actually take uh, a selfie using the laptop mm. um all Macs come uh, with uh, what we call an eyesight camera. Mm -hmm. It's a very beautiful camera. It's uh, best for a video collaboration. If you're doing Skype, mm -hmm. you can actually use that. But better still, if you're looking to taking beautiful selfies, selfies. this is the gadget to use. Okay. Uh, it has a very beautiful 8 megapixel rear camera. 8 megapixel? Yes, okay. and a 1.2 megapixel front camera. Oh, front. So it's very beautiful for taking uh, selfies with well, here there's a lot of information about uh, iPod. Uh, tell us more about these iPods. The Shuffle is a little small iPod mm. that you can clip on yeah, any article mm. of clothing. Mm. You can clip it on your belt, you can clip it on your shirt, okay. then you go jogging okay. with your earphones. It comes with earphones inside mm. and a charger. Hope all ages out there, you've heard it very well. We've been talking about gadgets and uh, we've received, we've got to know what an iPad is, an iPod, what a MacBook is, name it. Everything has been here on Campus Edge. While you're still watching the show, stay tuned. My name is Jovan and catch you next time. iPhone, iMac, iPod. After the break, one of you will win an Apple product. This is Campus Edge. Like us. Follow us. Stalk us. We love the attention.